Hello, majestic beings of creation. My name is Cora Flora, and today I feel inspired to make a video for you sharing my healing journey and also tips for you about how you can use your voice to accelerate to your next level of being a visionary leader. This is especially relevant for people who have a history of sexual trauma or any sort of trauma related to their soul, their truth, their essence flowing through their voice. For me personally, my voice has been absolutely essential in my healing journey. I've written a lot of songs, giving voice to really, really challenging emotions in an effort to heal myself and heal everyone who could com come into contact with them. And I've also experienced not only the trauma of, of, of sexual trauma, but also the trauma of not being believed, of having people call me crazy and deny me and um, basically a huge backlash. And that itself was, I consider that another trauma at this point where it wounded me deeply. And I've had to take a lot of time to recuperate and really go within and feel my truth, reconnect with my heart and soul and love myself back to wholeness and strength to be able to share my truth again with even deeper conviction and roots in my essence and soul. So that being said, I feel like I'd love to share some tips with you that can help you with the healing of your voice. So one of the things that I love to do as often as possible, usually when I'm alone, is sounding. And this is something that I have mentioned in different videos and I, I use a lot with people because it's so effective. So all that you need to do is whether you're alone, I mean, I find it flows better when I'm alone, but if you're with people you trust who won't judge you, that also can work. And what you do is simply make sounds, make whatever the fuck sound you wanna make. And the point is authenticity, fluidity, and just letting your sounds reverberate. You'll be surprised at what comes out. Even today, I was feeling some charged, challenging emotions and I decided to just give voice to them. And I noticed that when I was super loyal to the feeling and the energy, it was communicating things that sounded like they were from completely different traditions. Like, I don't know if I was tuning into past lives of me or perhaps just like channeling something beyond myself or deeper layers that I haven't yet accessed, but it was powerful, it was healing, and it was, it not only gave me a release of the challenging emotions, but it alchemized them into something medicinal, where all of a sudden that challenging feeling became an access point for a divine energy to flow through, which is the beauty of the voice, the beauty of expression, the beauty of doing this kind of healing work. Another thing that can really help is to find people you trust who you can be 100% or I would even say 1000% honest with. And having healing conversations when both people are completely humble, honest, truthful, authentic, vulnerable, courageous, open, free can be so amazingly healing. To me, the magic of where two or more are gathered, I am there, what Jesus said, to me, that really activates when there's two people completely open, honest, authentic, and sensitive to each other. It's amazing what happens. I find so often, again, we become conduits together of divine energy, divine wisdom, divine flow of consciousness, love and power to integrate our experiences in newer ways. Like I find often in these sort of healing conversations, it's like I'll be able to see the higher themes of how our experiences relate, what are the higher teachings, and in the reflection of the other person, because very often the conversation will naturally be kind of a relating conversation where it's like, oh yeah, well that kind of reminds me of this, and 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 intuitively I'll connect with things that relate to what they're communicating and vice versa. And it ends up creating this interesting um, journey together where we go down this path of like exploration and 
integration together that I couldn't have done alone. And I find that these sort of healing conversations are so valuable. But that being said, they have to be with someone you trust and who you have an agreement that you're going to talk in a way that is honest and authentic and healing and for the highest good. And I think one aspect that can really add to the safety is just honoring that it's confidential. And the third thing that I could say that could help you is to just be completely authentic with your truth and allow it to be expressed in whatever dimension feels appropriate for you or whatever medium, I should say. So I know for me, like one of the things that's really helped is to allow my voice to be expressed however. And it's interesting because I feel like different truths require different mediums. Because for example, if you experienced a trauma when you were a baby, when you were pre-verbal, that's a time when you didn't have words. And so talking out your feeling might not be accessible. Whereas if you are given a crayon, a couple crayons, and you draw it out, or you dance it out, or you, I don't know, Play-Doh sculpt it out, you may be able to access your truth and a reconnection with that aspect of yourself, an integration of that fragment, a, re a renewed connection of that, that soul piece flowing through you in a holistic way through different mediums. And I find for me, yeah, it's like different, different things want a different expression and, and likewise different mediums may trigger or activate you in different ways and it's all perfect. But I feel like giving yourself the freedom and space to allow your voice to come out in whatever medium you so choose, whether it's music, dance, writing, drawing, you name it, sculpting, whatever it is, giving yourself freedom and know that it's not about being a perfect artist. You know, it's not about that. It's about authentic soul expression. And the more that you simply let that be the goal, not only will you find it more healing, but ultimately your creations are going to be at more of a masterpiece level, in my experience. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed this talk. And if you are interested in healing with me, I am presently offering shamanic voice coaching sessions where we will explore all of those things or whatever feels in alignment with your healing intentions. I absolutely love this work and I'm very excited about it. And I am grateful for the opportunity to be able to heal myself, heal others, heal together and co-create heaven on earth. Cause I truly feel like this is our time. I really feel like 2018 is going to be an amazing year. And more than that, I just feel like the stakes are high in terms of truth telling and offering our healing gifts and stepping up to the next level. So I feel like if you are seeking extra support because you feel called and you feel ready and you feel maybe a little tender and maybe a little bit like you want to make sure that you feel completely okay with what's coming up, like I would love to support you and I'd love to help you. All right. <laughs>